Hi there, my name is Tomek Sebrat and I am an intern at the Catholic Student Center. I will talk to you about the Wilderness Retreat, which was scheduled for early April 2020, but unfortunately canceled due to COVID-19. The planning we did this year provides important groundwork for a similar retreat in the future. In the Catholic tradition, there is a strong connection between the wilderness and spirituality. Many saints have chosen an ascetic life in the wilderness, drawn by its simplicity. Others, seeking solitude, ventured into the wilderness to listen to God's voice. The wilderness may be a powerful setting for a religious retreat, while the Catholic Student Center's largest retreat, Awakening, is very social and important for community building. This year we decided to additionally organize a wilderness retreat to offer a more contemplative experience in Lent. To identify students' spiritual needs, I prepared a survey asking students what they would like to gain from a Lenten retreat. I also recruited four students to join a retreat planning committee to ensure that the needs of the students are a primary consideration of the planning process. The planning committee identified five key themes for the retreat, inspired by numerous biblical stories set in the wilderness, the teaching of the catechism about creation, as well as the insights of the theologian Belden C. Lane into venturing into the wilderness as a spiritual exercise. The first theme is inspired by the lyrics of a praise and worship song, You Call Me Out Upon the Waters, The Great Unknown Where Feet May Fail. We invite the students to explore the great unknown of their inner wilderness, to confront their personal struggles and to listen with courage to God's calling. In order to explore the depths of our hearts, we need to detach ourselves from our day-to-day -day routine, habits and distractions and pay all attention to God's voice, just like Jesus did when he ventured into the desert. Therefore, we emphasize the theme of letting go. Letting go is connected to another theme, trust. Letting go of our attachments allows us to say to God, we entrust you with our worries and we trust that by following the path you show us, wherever you call us to be, we are not losing anything. We are in fact told in the Bible that the Lord is our shepherd and there is nothing we shall want because he makes us lie down in green pastures and leads us to still waters. By following God, we accept God's invitation to be fully human, to love with our full hearts and rejoice at the full abundance of God's gifts. Like all of God's creation, we are in a constant state of journeying towards a fullness of life and a perfect harmony. We emphasize the final theme of springtime because the wilderness in the spring can encourage us to see our earthly lives as a springtime before the fullness of life in heaven. In the first two committee meetings, we determined that a small retreat, up to 12 people, will provide the intimate community and the opportunities for solitude needed to explore these themes. We also determined that the retreat will be two nights long to allow for a full uninterrupted day in the wilderness. For the location, we chose Johnson's Shadden State Park due to its natural beauty and a campground with amenities, especially bathrooms with running water that would help participants feel comfortable. We decided to use the CSC van and personal cars to travel to the state park. Tents would be our homes for the weekend, while the campfire would be the place where we would gather as a community. Our schedule would be dictated by our basic needs, as we would rely on each other for food because we would cook together. In between meals, we would participate in spiritual activities. We would open the retreat on Friday night with Stations of the Cross. This Lenten practice was very impactful during a 2019 spring retreat when participants wrote reflections on the stations. Jesus' ultimate sacrifice would effectively frame the retreat, challenging us to let go of our attachments. A hike in solitude would be an opportunity to exercise trust by connecting with creation in body rather than reason and to pay attention to God in the reactions and emotions that surface in us. 
A theologian, Belden C. Lane, writes, My chief reason for hiking is to let my mind empty itself. One of the other activities we planned is Visio Divina, a practice of hearing God speaking to us through images. We can stare at the wilderness and read the image we see symbolically through the ways elements of the wilderness correspond to the great unknown of our inner wilderness. It is important to have enough time to plan these activities and the logistics of the retreat. Preparations should begin early in the spring semester with the recruitment of the retreat committee. Campsite reservations and sign-ups are two other elements that need to happen well in advance of the retreat. This year, we planned for the majority of the costs of the retreat to be covered by the Catholic Student Center, with an additional source of funding coming from student fees. Food, camping and transportation are the largest expenses, but precisely thanks to camping, the cost of the retreat is relatively low. In order to make all the information about this year's planning process easily accessible to the staff and students organizing the retreat in future years, I created a Google Drive folder with details about the theology and the logistics of the retreat. I will also brief all current staff to create a stronger institutional memory. We planned the retreat intending to gather students in a space removed from their day-to-day -day lives so that they may reconnect with their inner wilderness and become more intentional in their relationships and in the pursuit of their vocation. We hope this vision will come to fruition in the future. Thank you for watching the presentation.